Hello everyone, the Lucy Show 5 and welcome to the Global Man's Time Tutorial Review. In today's story, we're looking at the 2010 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra Extra Figure Review. In today's Extra Figure Review, we're looking at the Wave 2 of the Jungle Assault Recondo. Now, I got this straight from a local toy shop near my area for 38 ringgit. Retail price is being sold for 39 ringgit and 90 cents. And that's the original price of the shop itself for 39 ringgit and 90 cents. So, I actually saved up 2 ringgit now. Hey. Now, let's take a look at the front part of the packaging. Now, to those who are not familiar with the GIU packaging, the new Pursuit of Cobra packaging follows similarly on the old GIU packaging with along with the 25th anniversary version. We will make sure artwork style of the Rise of Cobra, as you notice that. You also notice the GI Joe logo on the top is all in silver. No longer they are spotting the red, white and blue. This is all in silver. Now you got a nicer artwork there, but it's all cramped up as you notice the plastic bubble is next to him, the name is on at the bottom part here. You get to see the face, but mm, the rest of his body you unable to see much. Here his name Recondo and he's a jungle combat specialist. And at the bottom, all the way down here is the G.I. Joe logo, which I don't understand why they wanted to put it at the bottom part here. I mean there's a lot of room here and this is not very eye catching enough. Anyways, let's take a look at the plastic bubble. You got Recondo there, and he is packed with a lot of accessories. You got his trusty hat, his mask, two axes, the ax assault rifle, the sniper rifle, the survival pack, the solar power survival pack, according to the back of the packaging, two claw traps, which looks like a bear trap, and a base stand hidden behind the figure itself. And at the bottom of the fig, well, bottom of the figure itself or the base stand, there's no catalog. Now, at the back of the packaging, especially on the top part here, is a small little write-up on what G.I. Joe is really about and who they are about against, which is Cobra. This time their mission is the Jungle Assault, and I really love this entire diorama setting. Very nicely done. There's a G.I. Joe character, with no idea who it is. There's a vamp there, covered in mud. Very nicely done. There's the Jungle Assault Duke. Recondo is there, if you can see him. And there are a couple, or a few more, Cobra Troopers. There's the Jungle Viper. There's another Jungle Viper here. Not too sure whether or not if this is a Cobra unit, but there's another one here that looks a bit suspiciously like the Night Adder from the Rise of Cobra. I could be wrong. Now, at the bottom here, you've got his file card. His name is Recondo. His name is Daniel M. Leclerc. Serial number 158-24-DM87. Grade E-4 Specialist. Mission Equipment. MR-J, Jungle Variant Marksman Rifle with Telescopic Sight. Now, at the bottom here, Recondo is the G.I. Joe's team's expert in jungle combat and survival. He goes into the jungle ahead of the team to scout for Cobra forces. He uses a solar-powered wilderness survival pack with a Claw JS multi-snare trap tube. You know, a fancy way to call as a bear trap. To capture Cobra Troopers and discover what they are hiding in the rainforest. And that's about it. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back after the ring figure and the rest of the stuff out from packaging. Now, inside the packaging, it comes with a typical 25th anniversary version of the G.I. Joe base stand with a nice little G.I. Joe logo on the top and two pegs for the figure to stand on. There are two holes at the bottom of the feet. And the nameplate there is stated as Recondo. On the other side, 2007 Hasbro made in China. Now Recondo also comes with a hat, a nice little hat there, just a single plastic and the only paint job applied onto the hat itself, you notice this entire band itself is painted, but other than that, that's just it. However, the bottom part of the hole itself, it's shaped for Recondo's head and it has to be in this position when you put the hat on, so it won't fall. If you try to put it on any other position, it will stay very loose. Next we have the tribal mask. Nice little tribal mask there on the nice little paint job. The eyes are painted. There's a green face going on, a black snout, red tongue, two fangs underneath the tongue. Very nicely done. Back on the mask, there's two pigs, and you can actually snap onto Recondo's face, like so. And yes, Recondo still can wear his hat. Next, we'll take a look at the axis. It comes with two axes. And each axe has a peg on the either side there. So you can use 
the axe you put it on the bottom of the side of the vest itself there's, two, there's a hole there and you have to plug it in like so next we'll take a look at the sniper rifle you got a nice little sniper rifle now wrapped in bandages you notice there's some black stripes going on I'm not too sure if this is intentional but I did notice some of the recorded images in the internet has some black stripes there so I assume this is intentional but nicely detailed stuff then you have an assault rifle very nice attached with a grenade launcher next we have a bear trap two of them to be exact you notice the bear trap is actually articulated but very loose as you notice on the side of the bear trap itself there's a pig I'll explain later first you got a platform there with a pig it's meant to plug it on the bottom of the feet itself so when any Cobra units try to step on it they get ensnared by the bear trap very nice then we have the backpack with a satellite dish the survival pack you'll notice that the entire satellite dish itself is well a see-through plastic you'll notice that and it can turn 360 degrees and move a little bit on the other side it doesn't well move that much but turn 360 degrees nice little details there very nice but not a lot of paint details you notice very simple you got brown silver big old red button there and that's about it now the button is the gimmick there and this side here is also part of the gimmick now if you pull it there's a string up and all you have to do is attach this to the side of the man trap you have to be careful the moment you re retract the string back and this button retracts the string because the moment it snaps, snaps back the string this entire piece will most likely fall apart like so ah uh, see just fall apart so you have to be careful when you play around with the bear trap otherwise you'll end up missing one piece or several pieces finally we'll take a look at the vest the vest is actually very nicely done I really love the amount of details they put on the vest itself pockets, zips, ammunition, walkie talkie you got the shoulder pad here nice little paint job on the GIU logo there very nice and easily removable provided if you can pop off the button and you don't need to remove the head too as you can see very nicely done now let's take a look at the figures paint job the paint job is very nicely done it suits the team for the jungle itself it's brown beige you got swamp green going on very nice very nicely done also on the side here individual darts is also painted very nice this face is also painted as well the entire head is just pure plastic however the body itself you notice is painted at least for the skin itself the head is actually has a little bit of paint job like the eyebrow the eyes and the mustache but it's still very nice I really like the paint job a little bit bleeding on the bottom of the sleeves here but it's still alright now the scope is entirely new the entire figure scope is entirely new it's very very nice very detailed stuff one side of the arm you notice all the wrappings on the other side of the arm all the darts are there very nicely done you notice the leg there all the paddings are there all the armor paddings straps very nice and Ricardo's face so look similar to well gung ho very nice let's take a look at the figure's articulation the head however cannot pivot up and down that's a pity yeah can't even go side to side much can turn the head 360 degrees but I really don't like the hunched neck there I really wish he can actually pivot the head a bit more upwards torso here can go down side to side back and turn 360 degrees shoulder joint here can turn 360 degrees lift the arms all the way up like so now the elbow joint both elbow joints here is a bit different this one can bend only this far and the other one bend 
bit further in. You notice. You may not see much of a difference, but there is. The moment it carries the sniper rifle, if you want to pose him with a sniper position. The wrist here turns 360 degrees, very nice. Hip joints here, can go forward, go to the sides, very nice. Knee joint here is double jointed, bends all the wrist way. And ankle joint goes downward, upward a little bit and turns 360 degrees. Overall, I really like this figure, but I'm a bit disappointed that you can't actually store well, most of the equipment that he comes along with, let's say the bear trap, the mask, the extra weapon. And the axis, for both of the axes to store onto the sides is really, really annoying because it'll hinder the movement for the arms itself. But it's still alright. This figure looks very nicely done. I really like the entire figure itself. Very nice. You know this if I'm gonna give a rating on this this is actually not bad but I really wish his right hand is similar in the grips in the gripping itself is similar design as on the left hand because the left hand's grip is a bit too wide enough and he can't hold most of the weapons that's the problem he can hold the axe but it has to hold uh, the and tip of the axe itself otherwise most of the weapons you can't even hold it properly so that's a bit disappointing so if i'm gonna give a rating out of this it's still great so i'll give it a 9 out of 10. so i thank you all for watching this is lucy05 and i'm signing off